Hello and welcome back to another very exciting Blender tutorial. Well, this tutorial is very simple and uh, there, so there is no need for you to feel anxious about getting this right. So, the, for starters, I'm going to show you what we're going to make. Uh, I'm going to show you step by step how to make this picture from a default cube. So, from the default. Uh, workspace in Blender. The, uh, this image may look just maybe just a little bit complicated but it is actually quite simple and yes I don't think you will have trouble making it. So let's get started. Alright first of all uh, I'm going to open Blender which by the way has made I don't I don't remember having mentioned that uh, well it has made an update. It has released an update, so it is now Blender 2.93. I think, yes, I think that comes with 0 0.0. But anyway, so Blender is ready to release the update of Blender 3.0, uh, and it's not going to be Blender the 2.x or 2.9x, whatever it is called, uh, and. Yes, so it is a big, uh, a big moment for Blender is going to it is on its way. Okay, but without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, I use the magnet to place the cube up here, and now I'm going to add uh, well, another cube uh, or, or, not, or not. I'm going to okay, let me just use a plane. Okay, plain mesh. So let's scale it up to uh, 20, 20, 20. Well, the z axis doesn't affect it at all. And since it doesn't affect it, uh, since the z axis doesn't affect the plane, the plane at all, uh, there there would normally be no need to mess with it, but uh, that's okay. Uh, okay, so now let me just uh, copy this, paste, then select. Wait, okay, so 90 degrees, second one, and then place it to minus 10 and then z10 because the side is 10 ok so yes generally it looks like uh, the picture ok yes it look it does look like the picture uh, a little bit ok so yes ok yes yes it does look like the picture uh, I'm not going to mess uh, with the material of uh, the cube at all, uh, except uh, I will add uh, materials over here and just uh, remove the specular. Uh, and now, yes, if we if we go over here, we can see that uh, this uh, looks a little bit like the picture, but. Uh, Okay, so just to be clear, uh, we're going to be making a similar picture to the one I showed you earlier because uh, yes, because I'm going to st I have started all over and okay, yes. I will move this towards here, towards this place. Uh, and then well yes that that's about correct I guess okay so now let me just move my camera a little bit in the z axis and in the x axis so just the uh, G and then Y X or Y X uh, yes G Y X 
or Z to select the axis so G X or G Z and Yes, okay, so if we take a look at the picture, we can see that uh, it looks a lot like what we have made in Blender. So yes, if I want, it, so generally the position, the positioning your camera and the rotation and everything is up to you. You you will decide how you want, your, what you want your picture to look like, but uh, just to make it look pretty I will make it like this so if you noticed uh, the background of the picture is uh, black while this is still uh, gray so in order to change that well I could surround this with a lot of planes and then paint them black uh, but instead I will go over here to the world settings and then set the color to absolute black and now you can see that the lighting has turned black so yes this uh, light this uh, spotlight over here projects light over here uh, and it uh, helps us see the cube so okay now that was basic that was the tutorial basically but uh, if you want to make uh, anything look different than you, uh, for instance, the color of the light could be blue or anything, but I'm just going to leave it uh, white. Although I will change the color over here, uh, I I will make this look like that yes so it's a little bit more bl blue um, but we so in the material preview that's what it looks like but in the rendered uh, this remains with the default color uh, while this whereas this is blue now because uh, the entire picture uh, does not affect uh, it does not affect anything uh, but here, so it stops the spotlight stops about here, so it doesn't affect this at all, uh, and therefore I could delete it since the world is already black. So yes, I deleted it. Uh, when I rendered the picture, I hadn't deleted the back wall, but the back wall, the rear wall. Uh, anyway, now I can do uh, what I can do. Is pro uh, is bring spotlights, uh, m bring more spotlights uh, in uh, looking towards the cube, and uh, just so they are exactly these are exactly in front of each other. I will set the rotations to minus and then their number again so minus not minus wait I don't want this to be minus and yes but uh, well okay so now let me just no I changed my mind about this I would make it be white uh, point eight Okay. and instead I will change the color of the lights so I will make this be a little bit white, uh, blue and then this a little bit red with red yes okay so you can see that now the spotlights yes the spotlights are opposite but if you now two shadows have been created so if you don't want so if you want your shadow to be here 
or here you can adjust it by shadow uh, and now if you choose the, the blue light and then click shadow off then only this light uh, this light will uh, cast shadow and so a blue shadow will appear but because our camera doesn't see uh, only sees it from here uh, I will choose uh, I will choose this light not to project any shadow and not to cast any shadow so yes and uh, now we will go and render uh, everything out okay. Oh, uh, yes, and also because I want it to be an image, I will set my ending frame to like one, I don't know, and now yes, I can render it, I can render it out. Okay, yes, I rendered it out, so uh, let's go and see our picture. Okay. Okay, so this is it. This is our picture in 100% quality and yes I have to say it looks quite nice so yes uh, I hope this t this tutorial was helpful and yes uh, see you next time for another video uh, goodbye